Okay, here we're looking at the animal phylum Cnidarians. Okay, remember here for a little how to pronounce it, my own kind of rendition of how to pronounce it. But you should be familiar with these jellyfish. So Cnidaria, um, their tissues that lead to greater specialization. So remember our sponges, we're now going a little bit more advanced, still pretty primitive and simple, but we are having tissues now being formed. Now these uh, animals here are radial symmetrical. Remember our sponges were not. They have a body plan that allows them to interact with their environment on all sides. So it's a high environmental um, in interactions that are occurring, and it's because of their body type allows for that. And radial symmetry, remember, is one of our key distinguishing factors for being able to place the complexity of animals. So there's different classes. So remember, phylum is the broader um, way of categorizing things. Classes are a little bit more specific. Box jellyfish, sea anemones, true jellyfish, um, fire corals are all under the same phylum, but you can see here there's four different classes. Ever wonder how a jellyfish kind of reproduces? We kind of see them floating around in the ocean around the beach. The life cycle of the jellyfish includes two stages. We have the medusa stage, and then we have the polyp stage here. The polyp actually reproduces asexually by budding, and the medusa here we can see reproduces sexually with this permanent egg. And we kind of see that life cycle that goes around. Again, budding here, the polyp, and then we have our kind of individual coming from there, originating from there. You see a pretty simple organism, pretty simple life cycle overall, but more complex than our sponges because we have the development of tissues. In addition to tissues, this allows for greater specialization. So a major evolutionary advantage is something called extracellular digestion of food. Now, digestion begins outside the cells or in the gut or gastrovascular cavity. And this is a big advancement. This form of digestion allows animals to digest an animal larger than itself. So this extracellular di digestion allows it to take in um, portions of um, food particles and break them down. This gastrovascular cavity we see here located on the inner portion. You see an anemone here shown. This is a photograph of what it looks like. And then here is the illustration of its morphology. So we see here is kind of looking, this camera angle would be kind of from the top here looking down into it. We could see evidence of this gastrovascular cavity, this extracellular digestion, which is a key advancement in our animal classification. Nidocytes are stinging cells. So jellyfish, the reason why I highlight that one in particular is that's probably one you're most familiar with. Uh, because you're probably told in early age to stay away from them. Uh, animals in this phylum uh, have stinging cells. So these stinging cells are what gives them the um, ability to collect food. Now, from our standpoint, we're bigger than, than they are, but we get that stinging sensation, it's just not pleasant. Um, and depending on what type of jellyfish, it could be deadly even to us. These nidocytes contain large organelles called nemesis that are stored in the coil thread and barb. You see that evident here. When hair-like projections on the cell surface are touched, see here, the thread or barb of the toxins are fired from the organelle. So we kind of see here the retracted stage. You can kind of think of everything kind of being condensed in and kind of like a spring compressed down. And when that liver is tripped, then you get the popping there of the barb and the thread, and that's where um, the toxins may, may be kept, and that's what's causing the stinging nature. Now, specific to jellyfish, you want a great video to kind of look at. Uh, this is a great link here uh, that shows this in slow motion. So jellyfish have harpoon-like barbs. This is a microscopic view here called a nemesis, which spear prey and retract toward the tentacle. These can discharge so explosively, and they show that in the video, that it's capable of piercing the hard shell of a crab. So this is not something to be taken lightly. So there's definitely um, quite the punch behind it there. And they've actually filmed it in slow motion on this video. So that Smarter Everyday video, great one to check out. Um, and it kind of gets you to appreciate, even though you may not enjoy the experience if you've ever been stunned by a jellyfish, but what's going on with that animal inside the tentacles.